aortic uh, uh, ascending aorta, aortic arch up here. Start on this side, superior vena cava coming back, inferior vena cava coming back to the right atrium. This is much better. Here's the auricle for the right side. Open it up. There's the superior vena cava. There's the inferior vena cava in red. And a small other opening for in, in red. Not an opening, actually. It's to indicate an opening. That's the coronary sinus. This white spot is the fossa ovalis uh, that you had from childbirth when you were born. We'll be talking about that later. Right atrium, and the blood would next go through this structure. This would be where we would find the uh, tricuspid valve, but it's not present in this, this guy. Here it comes through. Okay. We don't see the tricuspid valve. We don't see what? The chordae tendinae either. And just sometimes you tap it, you get a nicer picture. And you see the rough stuff. Mm -hmm. Trabiculae carniae. Blood go exits here and enters into the pulmonary trunk through the pulmonary semilunar valve. It shows one part, one cusp, two cusp, three, third cusp missing. Not really. It's down here. Okay. And so when they go together, they make the three. Blood now goes to the lungs, comes back through the pulmonary veins here and here to the left atrium. Now they show four, two openings back here, and the other two up here. You notice how the other model had them all together in a straight line? I guess that's artistic license, you know. Here's where the next valve would be. This would be the mitral valve, and it's not present on this model, and nor are the chordae tendinae on this model. Okay. There, however, is the, because of everything else is out of the way, the aortic semilunar valve. Okay. And the blood enters uh, through there into the ascending aorta. Now, on the aorta, it goes up, arches over and goes behind the heart, headed downward to the lower part of the body. These three vessels that come off, you'll need to know the three. Uh, you'll get a sheet soon. If it's on the internet, you can always jump ahead uh, that have the list of vessels. This is the brachiocephalic, always the first one. Next one is common carotid, or carotid is good enough. And the next one is the subclavian. And they're not hard to remember. Just remember your A, B, C's. A, aorta. B, brachiocephalic. C, common carotid. And S, A, B, C's for subclavian. Okay. And no one ever really misses that. Now, I did something.